square of a binomial. Here's an example. We have a plus b raised to 2. We call it square of a binomial because the binomial is being raised to 2. This square of a binomial is just the same with a plus b times a plus b. This is the expanded form of a plus b squared. And usually, we are applying FOIL method to solve for this. Let us try to use FOIL method. So, we have f, o, i, l. f for the first terms, a times a, that will be a squared. Then, outer term, we have a times b. We have positive a, b. Then, inner terms, b times a, that is also positive a, b. And for the last terms, or letter l, we have b times b and it will be b squared. This is how we solve for it using FOIL method. Then after that, you have to combine the like terms. ab plus ab. Just copy a squared. Then ab plus ab, you will have positive 2ab. And then copy positive b squared. And this will be your answer. But actually, you can solve the square of binomial without applying FOIL method. Just observe the pattern that we have obtained from our answer. First term is just the square of our first term. Then last term is the square of our last term. And for the middle term, you just have to multiply first and last term times 2. It means that every time you will encounter a binomial that is raised to 2, you just have to follow this pattern or just look at the steps. First, square the first term. The first term here is a. When you square it, it will be a times a. a times a, you will have a squared. Then, second step, multiply the first and second terms. So we have a as the first term, b as the second term. A times B is equal to AB. Then, times 2. AB times 2, you will have 2AB. And the last step, square the second term. The second term here is B. When you square it, it means you will multiply it to itself. B times B, you will have B squared. Then, if in case your binomial is negative, the second term of your final answer will also be negative. Let us try this in our example. a plus 5 squared. a plus 5 squared. Following the steps, let's solve for this. So first, square the first term. The first term here is a. So a times a, you will have a squared. Then for second step, multiply the first and second term. So first term is a and second term is 5, a times 5 is 5a, then times 2. 5a times 2, you will have positive 10a, because 5 times 2 is 10. Just copy the variable a. Then third step, square the second term. The second term here is 5. So 5 times 5, you will have positive 25. And that's it. That will be your answer. You can actually solve it mentally. Just keep on practicing these three steps. Let's try this again. Second example, we have 3x minus 2y. First step, square the first term. 3x times 3x, you will have 9x squared. 3 times 3 is 9. x times x is x squared. Then, Second step, multiply the first, which is 3x, and the second term, which is negative 2y. 3x times negative 2y. So let's start with the numerical coefficient. 3 times negative 2, you will have negative 6. And then x times y will be xy. Okay, last step, square the second term. The second term we have here is negative 2y. So negative 2y times negative 2y, you will have positive 4y squared. So the answer is 
9x squared minus 6xy plus 4y squared. So even without using FOIL method, you will be able to solve for the square of a binomial mentally. Just remember this three steps.